Battle Magazine. Um, not only just the print mag, but the but the, uh, 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 a website as well. We got di with digital with every aspect of what what um what we need to be in this industry at this current moment. You dig? But um. With World Battle Magazine, man, we capture the essence of, of, of the battle world, man. So we take it from current times, and, and, and then we bring it back, too, to the essence of, of, of what battling what was about. And a lot of times, you know, when you when you, when you you focus on contemporary times, you always want to capture the, the, the new dude that's in or whatever you play. Mikey D, this, you know, yeah. you know, history, history, man. You know, a lot of times you don't even get a chance to really... Put it out there like that. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. Talk to us, man. Help us understand your first battle, of the year. What was it about? Man, my first battle was in a park called 231 Junior High School, and I used to go to school back. And um, it was with this brother named TLC from Farmers Boulevard. I mean, he was running the streets of Farmers at that time. You know, I had just came out of doing basement parties and that type of stuff. And, it was like my first time out in the park, and he called me out. I had my back against the wall. We battled. I won that battle. That was my first taste of blood. And then it was off to the races after. Fast forward. Give me some of them names now. Fast forward. Man, well, one of the biggest battles that I had was in 1988, which was the New Music Seminar, where we, we battled for world supremacy. The best rapper in the world. And... I mean, I battled, who was in this battle? You had MC Search in this battle. We had um, Bango from Chicago. It came down to me and the, the legend, Melly Mel. <laughs> and I got that belt, so that says a lot. I'm not going to say what went down, but I was the winner. But right. anyway, you know. Right, right. And in between that, it was so many other battles that I, I can't even name them all. But if you Google me, and if, well, even if I say it, a lot of cats gonna get salty today. But let them know. But it's you know the reality is that it's not about it's not about salty. It's just about the essence of of all the history of not only just battle rap but this music or whatever. You dig what I'm saying? Right, right. And and and, and it just so happened that as you were coming up, you know, you did the, you loved your music. You dig exactly. what I'm saying? But we knew that battle battling at that time wasn't even you know because now they say we're battling. You know, if a dude can battle, he can't rap. He just can't put a song together. And it and at the time at that time. It was so. It was so. It was just so part of just the, the course of rapping. You exactly, did what I'm saying? Exactly. So now you say you say Melly Mel, right? Right. Right. Give right. me another name that that's out there at this current moment. I mean, that, I mean, I mean, me and LL had a little back and forth. So I wouldn't really say it was a battle, battle, but like, you know. The Melly Mel was the official. The, the Melly Mel was definitely a battle. I mean, me and Kwame had a little something. Me and Mr. Cheeks, you know. It's, it's a lot of cats that's still out right now that I battled and um <laughs> damn I'm trying to think of some names. Don't get battled oh, now. I remember that. I remember this was one of my other battles that I had. Steady B. Mm. That's 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 on death row yeah, right yeah. there. I battled Steady B out in Camden, New Jersey. He won uh the stage show. His stage presence was better than mine, but rhyme for rhyme, he got buried. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, damn, it's it's mad. So, so you, you know, you know the crazy thing is, so now that was then. This is now. When you see, when you when you watch a battle at this current moment, give me some of the pros and cons of, uh, of, of, of what you see at this current moment. And, you know, give me some comparisons or, or, or show the world because now you say, you know, like I said once again, a lot of times you don't get a chance to see. Uh, uh, now we're at a stage where we're 40 plus, you dig what I'm saying? And yeah. we get in our ways, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of times we shun a lot of stuff. Oh man, it's old, you know what I mean? Yeah, nah. Sometimes we, it's, it's, it, it, you gotta get to a point where some things you just embrace, you roll with it or whatever, no doubt. But now that I'm actually highlighting the fact that you did yeah. battle or whatever, when you look at it now, what do you say? Well, right now, I respect, I respect okay. what they're doing. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's definitely entertaining. They definitely get right. But, you know, it evolved into this because, you know, along with technology, things just evolved into something else. Right now, these brothers today, they got access to Google and they can dig up Right, right, right. And they right. can get to write and study. And like I was saying earlier, man, I see these dudes literally train like they did for a damn boxing match. Now, when, when we was battling, yeah, that's it was we'll spontaneous. It was, right. I see you, you see me, I call you out to battle, we battle. Right. Either we're going to compare notes to see whose rhymes are better, 
or we gonna go up top of the head and go right, right in and there. Right. I don't have a background on you. Right. I didn't have a month to prepare for this battle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But the way they doing it now, like I said, I got much respect. For okay. That. Okay. Love right. Love and, and, I, and, I, and I'm glad. I just I wanted to put that out there because a lot of times what happens is once again we get in a state where we shun it. We, we, we state this and we state that. But sometimes it just comes good of them. just showing the pros and cons and, and, and the growth. Because the reality there is a growth in it. You know, the evolution of music in general, you have to state, you know what? If it wasn't for this era, right. And this one, we wouldn't have got here or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So now you look back. Let me ask you this, man. Are you still in love with the essence of music, with the essence of hip hop? Do you at times want to say, you know, I just want to get the mutant, I want to get in the studio, not because of that, but just for something therapeutic. I'm going to tell you, just like this, like I tell everybody, if my big brother always said it to me, Eddie O. James, some people learn how to do this shit, some people are born to do it. Right, right. I was born to do this. When people look at me and see me, they see hip hop. Right. They don't, I could put on a suit and a tie and, and sit behind a desk. And somebody that knows me is not going to say, oh, he's an executive. He's hip hop. Right. That's Mikey D. Mm -hmm. So, right. when you look at me, you see it hip hop. And I love this. Well, I, I mean, it. I say no more on that behalf. But once again, the question is do you have time to, you know, once again, because a lot of times, man, you know, when you love, I, mean, I always ask this question, you love it. So it's obvious you love it or whatever. So now you're not looking at the, 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 the process of saying, you know what, I'm. I know I'm a little older, man, but I, could, I still want to get I want to get signed. But do at times do you skip the end this right? Actually, I got an album getting ready to oh, ride in January, Day of Destruction. And I'm one of those dudes. I got one song on the album called Inspiration because I want to inspire cats that's our age that still love this hip hop. You got cats that's 47, 50 plus that are embarrassed to say that they love hip hop. Right. Because they think they're too old for yeah, it. Right, they put right, the right. Limit on it. Right, right, so, right. So, to answer to your question is yes, absolutely. I still love it. Mm. And I will love it till the day I drop. Say no more. You know what? I need not say no more, man. This is one of the realest interviews Raw has, you know, come across, man. And, uh, you know, what's crazy is that, you know, and, and even looking at just the age bracket itself, man, shit, you know, this, that, you know, we come across it. Like, you know, but, 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 but reality is that, you know, we got to mix it in, man. You can't, you can't. You can't, you know, delve into it without actually having some history. So we'll definitely be interviewing a lot of interviews that came up that had a chance to shine during those stages where, you know, hip hop was just about the essence of the elements of hip hop. You know what exactly. I'm saying? It's funny you say that. It's the name of my group, Elements of Hip Hop. Come on, man. That's, I'm that's, that's, what, it is, man. that's, that's what, what we it do. Is. In closing, man, we get a few balls or something. Stick them. Ha ha ha. Stick them. Kill on the loose. I'm looking for my next victim. Should I wait for y'all to point him out or should I pick him? Or should I act like Rakim and let the rhythm hit him? Spit venom in him less than a minute, have him spinning while I'm grinning in the getaway car, revving the engine. Yeah, you fucking with the flamethrower. Who is it? Destruction. The game's over. Intense whenever I'm in the presence because I intimidate and I'll eliminate these peasants. Set them free and have them flying with the pheasants. I ain't old, I ain't new. I'm the future and the present. Resident Evil, if I see you try to diss rap, I'll run you off the stage, snatch your mic. Let me get that. I turn it up off a new or old track. I burn it up, you learn what? Hold that. I'm charged and I ain't living large. You can represent the Bentley while I'm rolling in the Dodge. Got a bunch of grimy niggas, ski mask, camouflage. Turn the corner in that Bentley. That ass is getting robbed. You couldn't stop us with the Glocks or the choppers. Police and helicopters, this is not cops and robbers. New York Knicks, all them Globetrotters. Brooklyn Nets, my nigga Hove got us. Cute bubble, too thorough, couldn't fall back. A pioneer and a legend and I'm all that Tell the president I'm busy, he could call back Already got my tax return Where the mall at? The truth, my shrine's the whole booth Got a million dollar smile when I shine the gold proof And I'm blessed with giving you So don't call me old school Just call me living proof Poof